Today, we're gonna to be talking about all different kinds of harvest containers. I'm Andy Chamberlain from UVM Extension Ag Engineering. Welcome to the lab. So today we're going to talk about all different kinds of harvest containers that you could use on your farm. Everything from a solid container to a vented basket, bulb crates, harvest lugs, berry trays, fish baskets, big green tubs, and even food grade trash cans. I'm going to share with you the rough dimensions, kind of show you what the sizes are like, my first impressions, how the handles are, the durability, price point, and where I picked them up from. A lot of these containers are available in many different locations, so be sure to shop around. And if you visit go.uvm.edu slash bins, it will take you to a blog post where it lists out all the vendor and supplier information where you can find harvest bins too. The first product I wanna talk about today are these picking buckets from Monty Packaging. The first one is a little bit smaller, has no handles, does stack inside the other ones. It is solid, tapered, with a couple drain holes in the bottom. It is 16 inches wide by 14 inches tall and weighs 2.3 pounds. This one comes in at $7.25. Now the pricing for every single one of these containers I'm gonna talk about today is obviously subject to change. Shipping is gonna be all over the place and even availability may be scarce. Some of these products may be discontinued but there is likely to be something very similar out there. The next product is the blue one, slightly larger, does have a handle that is round and reinforced. It looks like with a piece of PVC on the inside of the handle, so that should be good and strong. It does have some moldings here for some side grip as well. Quite a bit more comfortable to grab onto than the rim of the red basket. Um, so that's nice, no drain holes fully solid. This bucket is about 19 inches wide by about 18 and a half inches tall and weighs in at 3.5 pounds. These blue buckets though I picked up for $34.50. So there is a look at the products from Monty Packaging. These next two picking baskets I ordered from Dubois. Again, they also nest inside of each other. Let's start off with the red one. These containers are vented. It says 16 quarts stamped on the side. It does have holes in the bottom as well. About uh, 14 and a half inches wide by a little over a foot tall weighs in at 1.2 pounds. These are still rigid, but a little bit more flexible than the previous ones I just shared. These slots are a bit sharp, um, just the way it's molded. So gripping onto that or getting your fingers in there uh, might hurt a little bit, but it's, it's, smooth, it's a smooth surface, so it's easy to clean and uh, shouldn't damage any products. There's no handles or anything, no lips, but Grabbing it on the edge is decent. These are specced out to hold a half a bushel or hold 25 to 35 pounds of product. Switching over to the green ones, very similar design, maybe a little bit thicker than the red, honestly. This one does not have a size stamped on the side, but on the bottom it does say 5 8 imperial bushel. This basket is 16 inches wide by 13 inches tall and weighs in at two pounds. This upper rim is a little bit sharp, but um, not enough to like hurt my hands or damage any produce. And the insides are nice and smooth and cleanable as well. So that's one benefit of these baskets is they're definitely easy to clean because of their smooth surface finish. So that's kind of nice. 
The price point on these is $7.56 and $9.54. Next up is not actually harvest containers, but they're growing containers. However, I picked them up because I did hear from a farmer that they use them as harvest containers. So I wanted to evaluate them myself. Now a couple differences that they are from maybe a harvest container, I'd say is in the fit and finish. Um, they do have nice handles, they stack. These are 10 and 12 gallons. It is made out of a uh, softer plastic here, so it can take a little bit more abuse getting, you know, you could probably run over this thing and it's not gonna break it, so that would be kind of nice. Like I said, the fit and finish just isn't there. These handles have like, plastic flakes on the edge from the molding. Uh, when I got them, these drill holes still had the plastic bits floating around the bottom. As you can see, there's still burrs hanging out, which is just frustrating because you have to go and try to clean those up yourself. The surface texture has a little bit of texture to it. It's not that glossy smooth finish from the previous models, so it will be a bit harder to clean. And I've had these kicking around a while and they still kind of smell a little bit rubbery and, and plasticky. Um, the handles are molded nicely, you know, to fit your fingers. So that's, that is kind of convenient. Uh, this one here weighs 2.8 pounds, measures 16 inches across, 15 inches tall. The bigger tub, 20 inches across, 14 inches tall and weighs in at 3.1 pounds. The price point on these was 1067 and 1463. Now this next harvest container is often called a fish basket. So it comes out of the marine industry and these are really popular and I like them a lot. They're probably one of my favorites. They are available in a couple different colors as there are a couple different brands. That being said, the brands seem to be nearly identical in both size and material and quality. So that's nice. Um, this one here is a Joyfish. A couple of the other orange baskets behind me is also Joyfish. Uh, this one here is Ropac. You can tell that because it's stamped on the bottom. Other than that, I can't tell the two baskets apart from each other. This one here has a little bit of cross hatching in the handle versus this one does not. Both of these handles I think are technically replaceable though I don't see them breaking very frequently. I like these baskets a lot because they're such a low density plastic that they're super flexible. You can really toss these around and they're gonna hold up. Um, they're also gonna hold up really well in the weather. They're pretty easy to clean. Their surface texture is pretty smooth so um, that's pretty nice. A lot of perforations for easy draining. Uh, a lot of growers use them as a strainer to scoop out uh, salad greens out of a bulk tank and pop them right into a spinner. So they're nice as a salad spinning basket as well. That's probably where you've seen these most. So again, uh, there isn't much of a difference between the two different brands. The sizes are the same at about 19 inches across by 15 inches tall and weighs three and a half pounds. I picked one of these up for $18.07 and another one at $33.40, but a lot of that gets, you know, balanced out once you pay for shipping. So it's something to take into consideration. You can get them from a few different sources. This one was from Dubois. This one I was able to order right from a vendor off Amazon. But if you find that this is maybe just a little bit too big or heavy for you, they do make a smaller basket as well. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those with me here today. Next up, let's talk about these trash cans. I just call them cans or tubs because trash can doesn't sound very good when you're talking about washing vegetables. These containers are often used for either compost collection or I've seen them used in green spinners as well. There's two different brands that are popular. The Brutes are made by Rubbermaid, and then these are Carlisle, which is another, another company, but basically the same, similar thing. Um, these are nice and smooth, versus those you can see have some more uh, shape to them. So for side-by-side -side comparison, this is a 20-gallon Carlisle, this is a 32 
gallon Carlisle. This one is 5.9 pounds, 19 inches across, 23 inches tall. The 32, 9.3 pounds. This one measures 22 inches across and 28 inches tall. Now I find these are a little bit big to use in a green spinner and that those orange baskets are a little bit more common. They're a little bit lower in a green spinner, a little bit smaller and easier to handle. Um, the handles on these are good and comfortable. Sometimes though you have to cut them off in order to make them fit in to a green spinners. Fit and finish is good, high quality, durable, plastic, um, mount, it's got molds in the bottom so you can use them on a dolly. This one was $19.75, this one was $26.95. I picked both of these up from Amazon. Now I will point out a few differences between the Rubbermaid and the Carlisle. This one was $24. It's got these indents here, which I think probably help with some stability and rigidity. These handles are a little bit rounder, a little bit more smooth, have drain holes within the handles. Um, these have a catch to hold a bag if you're actually gonna use it as a trash can. And then on the bottom, uh, not only is it molded for a dolly, but it's also molded as a hand grip. So that's a nice benefit for pouring, dumping, lifting, whatever. Uh, it's a nice little ergonomic feature. So these are pretty nice. They're, they're you know, fairly affordable, cheap, durable, um, easy to clean as well. Uh, and then if you're gonna use it as a green spinner, you might do something like this and drill a whole bunch of holes in it. Now, the problem with drilling a bunch of holes in it is you then have a bunch of little uh, edges to clean up, which can be a little bit of a pain and a whole bunch of little plastic bits that you have to deal with versus an orange basket, you don't need to do that because it already has perforations. Like I was saying, in order for this one to fit inside of a washing machine green spinner, I needed to lop off the handles. So you lose a little bit of a benefit there. And drilling holes also saves some weight. This weighs 5.8 pounds. I can't weigh this one because I cut the bottom out for another project, so. Um, but drilling holes will save a little bit of weight too. The next product I have to show you are these blue berry trays. So as you can see, they nest inside of each other or they stack, which is kind of nice. You can tell that because there's little dots on one side. So the dots, if you line up the dots, they nest. If you crisscross the dots, they stack. So, um, so that's a nice uh, little benefit there. I find these dots are a little bit hard to see, so uh, half the time you have to spin it around to make sure you're not squishing your fruit. Now these don't have any handles. They're smooth. Um, they do have some drain holes on the bottom, so that's a benefit there. They have some slatting for cooling if you're putting these in a cooler. They're a little bit sharp, don't have any handles, which is kind of a bummer. This container is 19 inches long, 13 and a half inches wide, and under five inches tall. Empty weighs 1.5 pounds. These here are about $9.20 a piece. This gray plastic tray can be picked up for $23.53. It is a little bit bigger, measures almost 24 inches long, 16 inches wide, and under five inches tall. These also can stack or turn it around and they nest. It's a little bit easier to tell which side is which because the two color variations. I know there's another brand out there that uses different colors. It might be even better to see. So that's a nice little visual indicator. You can tell um, based because one side has these little shelves and this side has got a spot in the middle where it rests. Um, both of these are quite sturdy for their size. Um, they do have handles. One handle is a little bit bigger than the other due to the, just the way it's shaped. That's also like a physical thing that you can tell which side is which if you're picking up many of these and stacking them on a pallet. It's nice and vented, so uh, you're not ever gonna get any pooling or puddling if you're storing fruit in here. 
allows for easy drainage. Uh, could use this type of a container for spraying things off in as well, which would be pretty nifty. I like these quite a bit. They weigh in at 2.3 pounds a piece. These next crates are called a smart crate. They're a foldable bulb crate and they're quite quick and easy to assemble. They just snap together. And then if you need to compact them, you can push the buttons on the side, pop in the sides and they fold down flat again. So that's nice and convenient. That being said, it's a pretty good size crate and I think it will get fairly heavy to carry. 24 inches long, 16 inches wide, and 10 inches tall. This crate weighs in at 4.6 pounds. And the build is fairly durable. There are a couple things I don't love about this though. Uh, the surface texture on this is full of little bumps and it's also got all these holes which save weight and all that add strength, but would be a completely terrible to try to clean because there's so much surface texture. I do see some tabs here, which would be nice for like storing a product card. So there's a benefit. Um, and another thing is they seem just a little bit flimsy for me. I don't have anything in this, but if I had this full of fruit, um, I might be a little nervous or, you know, you're holding it against you and you're walking around with it and uh oh, you know, it pops loose because it's heavy and you're holding it close. Like that seems problematic for me that I don't trust these latches. So that's a little bit of a downside of these crates. That being said, if you're just using it for like long-term storage and you're not doing a lot of walking around and carrying with it, or maybe you're carrying light crops, totally fine, work great. So it's not all bad. They do stack together and interlock due to these nubs. So it should be a stable pallet once stacked. So that's a nice benefit. And as you can see, when they're folded up, they compact down real nice and slim. So there are some nice features to these foldable crates. The next crate I want to show you are these that are yellow, yellow trays or lugs. They're probably one of my favorite crates out of everything I have here. I think my favorite feature is that the handles, you can stick your fingers all the way through and wrap around for a really solid grip. Your handles, your hands aren't going up, you know, trying to hold a lip or an edge. You can actually get a good grip on this thing. It's really strong and durable not much flexibility there. So if you're carrying something really heavy, it's going to be sturdy and you're not going to have to worry about breaking it. Um, it's vented or perforated. You could spray out crops right into here and let it drain through. Uh, these also stack or nest. And it's a very easy visualization by these two pads here or this one in the middle. Um, fit and finish is good. There's no sharp edges or plasticky bits hanging off. So um, this, is, this is a nice crate in my opinion. These measure in at under 24 inches long by 16 inches wide and eight inches tall. The weight of these trays is 3.3 pounds. I was able to pick these up for $20 and 17 cents a piece. So these trays were all vented. These next ones are solid. The benefit though, is that they're all the same brand. So they all stack or nest together, which is really nice. So this is the next one. Again, <clears throat> it is solid. So there's no venting, no perforations, no drains. Um, <clears throat> good for holding liquid. Measurements are the same size, 24 by under 16 by about eight. Again, good handles, really good durability. A little bit heavier at three point, no, four pounds. But that's a nice solid crate. The solid tray comes in at $21.85. These next two are the same 24 by 16 
but they're a little taller at just under a foot. Available in both solid and vented. Solid is 4.8 pounds. Vented is 4.3. Fit, finish, durability, all there. These handles are a little bit sharper on the edge, but like I said, because I can get my hands all the way around it, it's gonna be one of the most ergonomic containers that we've got. These green harvest containers are the biggest ones we've got. They measure 24 by 19 by about 12. Their handles, however, don't, don't let you wrap your fingers around, so it is harder to grip. They have holes for drainage. They've got vents on the side, so that's kind of nice. They both nest inside of each other or they stack like so. One kind of test that I like to do is how do they feel carrying them one-handed? You're most likely not gonna carry them around like this when they're empty. You wanna grab it, walk around with it, and this handle without having a good grip is just like awkward and hard on your fingers versus those other ones that I talked about where you can wrap your hand around it, you can walk around with that and it's not gonna hurt your fingers. So that's a benefit here. These is, are also kind of sharp on the edge and the fit and finish isn't as great. They seem to be a little bit, um, a little bit bent. Uh, they seem to have a little bit more like plastic molding issues here where it's not like a clean smooth hole so that's a little bit disappointing so there's an overview of several different harvest containers that you might find useful on your farm i'm andy chamberlain from uvm extension ag engineering thanks for watching and have a great day